Hi, my name is Arita Menezes and I am the QPCR product manager here at IDT. Today I'd like to show you how to use PrimerQuest to design primers spanning Exxon junctions. PrimerQuest is IDT's design tool of choice when doing custom designs for PCR, QPCR and sequencing. So to design across uh, Exxon junctions, we are first going to go to the NCBI page for that particular gene. It is important to remember that the exon annotation is constantly being updated and so it is always a good idea to check the numbering before you start the design. I'm now going to NCBI and I'm just going to enter the accession number of the transcript that I'm interested in. This page now pulls up uh, information for this transcript across different databases, but the database that we are interested in looking at is this nucleotide database. I clicked on it and it's now going to open up a page that gives me detailed information on this particular transcript. So I'm going to scroll down and what I'm looking for is the numbering for the exons. As you can see here, we have one exon annotated as being from 1 to 191. If you scroll down further, you have a second exon being annotated at 192 to 539 and the third exon at being 540 to 1335. Now that we have the list of the exon junctions that we are interested to design across, we are going to go back to the IDT website and load the PrimerQuest design tool you can find PrimerQuest under Sci Tools. And when PrimerQuest opens up, you will see that there are multiple methods of entry. You can either enter your sequence manually or download it using your GenBank or Accession ID or also upload multiple sequences in an Excel file. In this particular case, I'm going to download the sequence using a GenBank or Accession ID. As you can see, uh, it's a very quick process. The sequence has been loaded into this box. I've scrolled down. I know it verified that this is my sequence. And now I'm going to click the Show Custom Design Parameters tab. It opens up a whole series of different parameters. What is important to note is uh, the parameter set that you need to choose based on your experimental needs. In this particular case, I'm going to click on QPCR 2 primers and probe because that's what I'm interested in. Once you click on that, it's going to load all the different parameters that are important for that experimental design. I'm now going to scroll down towards the bottom and I'm looking for the overlap junction list parameter because this is where I'm going to enter the exon Num, uh, exon junctions that I'm interested in and then ask the design tool to design for it. So based on the information that I obtained from NCBI, I'm now going to enter the junctions. As you can see, I've now listed the three junctions that uh, I, I would like to design primers across. And this is annotated beautifully in the above schematic. I'm now just going to click get assays and the design tool has given me four different amplicons possible. If I need to know where this am amplicon resides across the entire transcript, I'll just click on it and it highlights it and changes the color of that amplicon. So I'm interested in these top two assays and I know each of these now are spanning the two different junctions that I listed. The third junction, there has been no design uh, obtained for it. This is partly because uh, the junction was listed as 1335 and the, consequently there is no place to desi design a re reverse primer. So in addition, we'd also like uh, to look at the details of each particular assay. To do that, you would click on the view assay details. And this opens up a page where you can see exactly where your primers and probe is located. But more importantly, you can also see where this amplicon starts and where, this, where it ends. 
for this particular design the junction was 191 and we can see that it started at 177 and ends at 288. You can click back to results to analyze your second assay. This particular case the junction was 539 and here the assay starts at 425 and ends at 547. So now that I've decided that these are the two assays I'd like to purchase, I'll click on both of them and uh, add selected assays to cart. This then opens up multiple different ordering options. Uh, based on your needs, you could either order the oligos individually in tubes or mix together or just the forward and reverse primers. With this demo, you have learned how to design primers spanning across Exxon Junctions. If you have any further questions, please contact technical support at IDT. Thank you.